What's going on LFA TV? This is your boy Luis and as always, thanks for tuning in to another awaited, long awaited episode. <laughs> but as you guys can see, uh, this was everything that I was kind of waiting for guys. Most of the stuff, right? Um, you know, I apologize for not uploading in over two weeks and that's because I didn't want to just upload random content that didn't have any meaning behind it. Um, and the reason for that is because I actually, you know, had to save up some change and actually ordered a lot of my uh, fuel system stuff as you guys can see there. Um, this is a lot of stuff that I was kind of waiting for and it's also over there. Um, this is something that was not planned but it's going to be much needed. And uh, basically, let me show you guys what I have here. Um, you know, I got my Fregola. Uh, this is a 20-foot uh, roll uh, Fregola uh, PTFE E85 rated uh, fuel line. And I'm doing dash 6. Uh, I could have done dash 8. Um, but there's pros and cons to doing dash 8. And there's pros and cons to doing dash six. So before you do your own system, please do some research. Uh, consider the fact that you are gonna have to be running from dash six to dash eight, back to dash six, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, there's a lot of uh, research behind it. And um, uh, long story short, I went with dash six. Uh, I have a lot of my fittings here that I'm gonna be needing. I am gonna be using my OEM hanger. Um, so I got a lot of, I got a, uh, pretty much all the fittings that I'm going to be needing uh, for, to be able to do that. And as all you see here, these are all kind of everything that I bought. Um, more in depth when I actually do my fuel lines and my fuel system. Uh, today's video is actually going to be on this bad boy right here. Um, this is my Dominic Fornary uh, or my Fornary Racing's. Uh, ATI crank trigger kit and this basically comes with the trigger wheel and it also comes where is it it comes with the bracket over here this amounts to your OEM uh, I believe power steering uh, mounting points so if you're running power steering I believe this is not gonna work. This specific kit will not work for you. But since we're full race mode, the power steering is no longer in place for my specific application. So um, yeah, there's the bracket. And these are your typical Hall Effect sensors. And that's gonna be wired into my ECU for my crank trigger. And this pulley here was provided by Real Street Performance. They actually carry a kit for the 7M and uh, this is it right here. I believe this is the, um, we're going to find out, I forget what pulley this is, but this goes mounted over the actual ATI pulley, which we got right here guys. There we go. There are specific torque specs to this. Um, I am not familiar with this. I am, I've never installed one, I have never owned one, so this is going to be my first time experience, first time mounting, and first time torquing, and all that jazz, because um, I have never used one of these, and um, this is my first time ever. So as a newbie, you guys are going to get to see the experience as, uh, you know, your average Joe. So, um, yeah, today I will be mounting this, and I will be removing my OEM crank pulley and attempting to put this on to the car. So um, yeah, let's get it going guys. All right, so normally you get a, you know, half inch torque impact wrench or to get these out. Cause these, as you guys know, it's a lot harder to get it out once the engine is inside. But um, luckily the neighbor kind of hooked, hooked it up. He has a compressor and an impact. So we got the bolt. Um, for those of you that are familiar, uh, when it comes to these things, the only thing that is going to need modifying is the actual crank bolt. Um, the diameter of it is a little bit wider there, wider than what it's supposed to be. So, um, let me show you guys what I'm talking. About. And also, just a, 
another quick thing as you guys see this uh, damp damper actually comes assembled already so that's one thing that I kind of don't have to worry about because these also have specific uh, torque specs to it but uh, real street uh, ships it out assembled already um, so if you guys get a different one um, just look up the manual the manual always gives you directions on uh, proper assembly and torque specs so on to the crank bolt um, drift motion actually sells one that you don't have to modify it already fits uh, but as you guys can see the diameter the diameter of it is a little bit bigger so um, this is going to require some slight modification so um, it's going to be some just grinding down all the way around um, and I'll show you guys how to do that too once again guys I have never done this before so I'm an average Joe if you guys see me do it, anybody could do it. Smell, your smell. I'm an average smell. It's my brother-in-law, David. Who can't moonwalk. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So, uh, let me show you guys how I would do this. Alright, so, like I said, you could do a drift motion. They sell the bolt that you don't have to modify. It's about, uh, I want to say like 15 bucks, including shipping. So, this is what I'm going to do. Um, so, as... This requires some slight modification, you know, just some slight measurement. I'm going to do um, just kind of start off with a little bit and work my way up because the last thing I want to do is take too much off of it. So, get a marker and if you're precise with it, go all the way around and use your finger as a guide. This is exactly As you guys can see I got a pretty much perfect circle all around now I'm just gonna grind down all the way around like this with the you know angle grinder of your choice and then keep every time you go around once you know you kind of keep on um, you know trying it on the pulley until that actually goes in you want it to be able to sit flush on the inside so it could actually grab but uh, like I said if you go too much you're gonna go past the point of the lip where it actually holds down or bolts up to the pulley so then you're gonna kinda be screwed uh, but if we mess up like I said we could order a bolt so this is a trial and error um, if we mess up which we'll is order a bolt it's like 10-15 bucks but you can modify the OEM one so yeah So as you guys can see it's almost in so it's better to always try it out before going too far so it could sit perfectly flush so I'm just gonna tackle it I'm gonna tackle it a little bit more and just like that perfectly flush that's exactly what we wanted. There's a couple things that I gotta talk to you guys before we get started on the install of this ATI uh, damper. Um, there's some bad news, guys. Uh, sad to say, there's some bad, bad news. Uh, bad for me, uh, you know, it's, it's a little, it's, it kind of bums me out a little bit, but uh, I'm informing you guys that um, Supers in Vegas, which is in October, uh, sadly, I might not be able to finish the car by then. Um, you may ask yourself why. Well, as you guys can see, um, you know, the whole wiring and all that stuff, I don't think would be a problem. I have pretty much everything good to go as far as uh, the engine goes. Uh, that was one of the last pieces that I was waiting for right there. It's not installed yet. We're gonna do an install video. This is what this video is about, but, um, yeah, sadly, if you guys could think of one thing that I have not upgraded on this vehicle, what would that be? 
and if you guys guessed the clutch you are absolutely right um, going back about two years ago a year and a half ago something like that um, when I first put this engine in I bought like a cheap eBay like stage 2 stage 3 clutch that was probably rated for only like uh, if I remember correctly maybe 400 foot pounds of torque um, with the new setup that we got going on that is something that is highly not gonna hold now if I'm completely honest uh, the build and these last few parts that I have bought for the car have taken a good toll on the wallet <laughs> I'm not gonna lie um, as you guys can tell by now um, this is basically a full build now I never intended for this to be a full build especially a 7M um, but with the whole situation going around the country right now with COVID-19 and you know uh, work slowing down a little bit um, and time being a factor and us for us to make it to Supers in Vegas um, in reality I don't think I will have enough funds to be able to uh, you know buy a clutch and install it and wire it up and everything and have it tuned by October uh, I know it's like about four months away but um, I'm just uh, being realistic here uh, later on down the line you guys will be seeing what clutch I will be running but it's uh, you know talking to a few people um, that have been running 7m's high horsepower 7m's the clutch that I will be getting for this in the near future is gonna hold all the power we're gonna throw at it um, that's the plan at least uh, but yeah guys I'm bummed out that I'm not gonna take it but I'm still gonna work my butt off to try to finish this thing because I want to have it ready for uh, to winter 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 time you know right so um, that's that's about it that's why I've been taking so long to upload a video guys I'm very very sorry but uh, enough talking let's get into this video of the ATI super damper install so now that we've taken that off and we have filed down the bolt the crank bolt is ready to go and here good to go um, these are the tools that we're going to be using uh, this is ATI's accessory belt uh, but once again we have no AC and no power steering so basically this pulley is not going to be needed this pulley is going to be replaced by this pulley and this is my crank trigger wheel uh, this is made by Fornary Racing and this is my hall sensor my hall sensors bracket we got some anti-seize lube that we're gonna use uh, for the hub um, you know just for future reference for future uh, you know so it doesn't become so hard in the future to take off um, now keep in mind the stuff that I'm about to tell you is information that I have gotten from people that I have asked online or that I personally know. Um, now, ATI on the manual, on the actual manual, it tells you if you read um, that they recommend and they actually suggest that some of these hubs from ATI themselves are actually honed out depending on your crank. Now I asked somebody, and I asked, uh, I asked a few people actually if they ever honed out their hubs uh, when it came down to the ATI uh, dampers and putting them on the 7M. And they actually told me that uh, basically the three people that I asked, none of them honed it out. Um, there was one individual who actually told me that I should and it's highly recommended because when it comes to taking this off, it becomes a big, 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 big pain in the butt. Um, now keep in mind uh, ATI also sells a tool that's very very useful to installing and uh, removing this pulley um, the reason why is because this actual tool has a bearing right here that you know prevents from prevents it from actually uh, staying stuck when you're when you're pressing the the damper on um, is this needed is this needed for the install probably probably not 
but it, it'll make a world of a difference um, of the ease ease of install for the pulley. So luckily, I have a friend, um, you know, who's local to me. Uh, shout out SR Fab, who let me use his tool so I can install it. So enough talking, let's install this thing. So the tool kit comes with the uh, 18 M18 by 1.5 adapter. So this thing is gonna go on the actual crank. So this one goes bolted up in here. And it doesn't get tightened all the way. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just hand tightened or far enough so it won't strip any threads. Uh, there you go, there we have it. So there's the adapter. And then we're gonna put some anti-seize lube on the hub. It's kind of hard to do this uh, with one hand, but we're gonna put some anti-seize lube on the hub and a little bit on the actual crank itself. And then we're gonna put the pulley on, get it started, and then I'll show you how I use this tool. Now keep in mind guys, I have never ever done this before. This is my first time, so uh, as I'm showing you, is basically my first attempt, so <laughs> let's do it. Now the good thing about this is that this uh, adapter here has a bearing so when you're actually turning the nut right here when you're turning the nut right here um, this allows the actual nut to spin freely so it doesn't lock up when the pulley is being pressed in so we put this down here All right, guys. There you guys have it. As you guys can see, it's put. It's pretty much all the way in. You go until it bottoms out. You'll you'll feel the difference. You'll know when it bottoms out. Um, but like I said, this tool, honestly, if with this tool, the last few pushes, I had to be pushing and grunting to try to get that thing on. I imagine not having the proper tool tool to put this on. Um, I don't know how some people do it. Um, but the tool makes the world a world of a difference. So now it's just a matter of taking that out and then we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and install the bracket and the trigger wheel. So one of the final steps for the ATI damper to be pretty much done is to install the bolt and that's gonna get torqued down to 230 foot pounds uh, recommended by ATI's manual. Uh, I believe that's also OEM uh, specs, uh, but don't quote me on that. These uh, dampers uh, are supposed to have nine total bolts uh, torqued down on the shell of the damper. So those extra three, those extra three that are provided are either for what would be your accessory pulley but in our case like i said we're going to be using the trigger wheel so in those uh three bolts that's where the trigger wheel is going to get bolted down to um now right now i have the pulley at top dead center as you guys can see right there top dead center it's a top dead center and uh the rules i mean the instructions say that the missing tooth on the trigger wheel is going to be approximately about 60 degrees about 60 about 60 degrees behind top dead center so we're going to try to align the bolts to that and after that um i'm sorry if i'm doing a lot of talking guys after that 
uh, there's two nuts on the housing of uh, I believe what the the front engine right there next to it I, I don't know if that's the water housing or whatever but um, yeah those two bolts right there get removed and there's only one way that this um, bracket gets bolted down to and that's pretty much like that and then the sensor gets put put on there and if you haven't watched my previous videos we're gonna use the same method as we did for my cam trigger wheel um, the spacing between that um, is basically gonna be used the same for the bottom a lot of talking let's do it all right guys so we got the bolts in we put some blue loctite medium strength and um, we're basically going to torque these down to 20 foot pounds that's the, what the instructions suggest uh, for coronary racings um, so we got it here let's torque these down all right there's the first one second one All right, there you have it. 20 foot pounds. And we're good to go. So once you have the sensor on, I'm going to use approximate uh, air gap and that's between 1.5 to 0 0.06 millimeters. I forget the proper term, but um, yeah, use a, a filler gap, and then you're gonna. I'm gonna torque these down to five foot pounds max. So that's the max uh, torque uh, that they told me to do this. Uh, these nuts at. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um. So that's pretty much it, guys. Now we have a nice and reliable. ATI damper, a nice reliable ATI crank trigger uh, wheel, and a hall sensor. So um, this is going to be the final touch for the engine. And from now on, I can officially begin to wire everything up and to tie everything down. Another thing that we're missing is also an alternator, which I will be upgrading because the OEM one is not gonna cut it. We'll talk about that later, guys. Um, but for now, um, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about the new damper and the new trigger wheel. So on the upcoming uh, videos, I will be starting my fuel system. As you guys can see, I also have um, all the parts needed to start that as well. I am going to be using the OEM hanger, so uh, stay tuned for all those videos to come, guys. I have all the parts, so the only thing to do now is actually get into it. Um, but that's pretty much it for this um, install of my ATI damper and my Fornary Racing's crank trigger wheel and sensor. If you guys have any questions, suggestions, and as always, please leave them down below. I missed you guys. I missed you guys a lot. Um, so um yeah other than that guys if you guys are new to the channel please consider subscribing and consider uh giving this video a thumbs up it would help out the channel a lot um but that's pretty much it guys um it's getting closer and closer i'm excited on to the next one guys peace